at the vast and rugged landscape in Kenya's northern region. The helicopter carrying the country's interior cabinet secretary, Professor Kithure Kinduki Hovas, over Korkon Hills, Tandare Valley, Arabal Hills, and Gelecha Ravine, providing a panoramic view of the rugged terrain below. As he flies over the valleys, he witnesses the incredible challenges faced by the security forces in their mission to combat notorious bandits, causing mayhem in the region. The valleys, with their hidden caves and dense foliage, provide ideal hiding spots for the criminals. I will be the minister who will oversee the end of this barbaric and primitive act of banditry. Our Kora Wametuzoya. For decades, banditry has plagued the region, instilling fear and disrupting the lives of its people. But now, one man says he is determined to bring peace to this troubled land. We have made some good progress in getting rid of the hideouts, getting rid of bandits from the hideouts where they were, they've been hiding. The Corcoran Hills, Arabar Hills, Ngerecha Hills, Tandare Valley, all these places are now free from bandits. But we must make sure they don't return there again. The CS says the situation in the north is dire. Innocent lives are lost, livelihoods destroyed. And thus, he cannot stand by and let that continue. To tackle the banditry problem head on, Kindiki is determined to enhance intelligence-driven operations. He's pushing for the need to understand the enemy in order to guarantee victory. For the minister, it is time for the police reservists to rise to the occasion. The government has been recruiting brave young individuals from local communities in the Kenyan north to join the fight. After months of rigorous training, these men were deemed ready for the challenge ahead. We must prevent livestock theft. Number two, in the unlikely event of a livestock theft, we must recover the livestock and return it to its owners. They are trained to be disciplined, observant and resilient. They will now join the joint security operation and will be deployed alongside the Kenya Defense Forces and the regular police. Their mastery of the local terrain and understanding of the local languages is expected to be pivotal in the battle against bandits. Going forward, we must rein in on these bandits and uh, just stop them. Let's just stop them. The police reservists will also actively participate in community development, helping restore hope and stability. We are working with local leaders to identify places where along uh, inter-community borders where we are having security challenges. We build boarding schools, we build day schools, we build other education institutions to put the children from different communities together and remove from them this idea that you can make a living from stealing other people's livestock and killing them. Through the collective efforts of the Ministry of Interior, KDF, the Kenya National Police Service, the police reservists and the communities, Kindiki believes that peace will take hold. My name is Anoxicolia and this is the Kenyan historian.